What if I told you that one tiny valve controls your engine's blood pressure, keeping it alive and running smoothly? Without it, your car could be in serious trouble. In this first video of our automotive valve series, we'll dive deep into the mysterious yet crucial oil pressure relief valve, what it does, how to replace it, and why it's the unsung hero of your engine. Stick with me as we explore its secrets. So, let's get to the heart of this oil pressure relief valve how it works. Imagine your car's engine is like a human heart. The oil? It's the lifeblood. It lubricates, cools, and keeps everything moving smoothly. But here's the catch, if the pressure gets too high, well, bad things happen, just like a heart attack. This is where your oil pressure relief valve comes in. This valve is a safety net for your engine's oil system. It's usually located in the oil pump assembly, or sometimes near the oil filter, depending on your engine. Its main job is to regulate oil pressure. The way it does this is simple. When the oil pressure in the system climbs above a safe threshold, the valve opens up and lets some oil bypass the engine, sending it back to the oil pan. This process ensures that the oil pressure never goes beyond safe limits, preventing damage to critical components like seals, gaskets, and even the oil pump itself. When the pressure is normal, the valve stays closed. Think of it like a pressure release valve on a soda bottle, open it, and the pressure is released. Now, replacing your oil pressure relief valve might sound tricky, but with the right tools, it's totally doable. First things first, safety, make sure your engine is cool and the oil is drained, unless you're feeling adventurous, but let's not. Start by locating the valve, remember, it's usually near the oil pump or the oil filter. Once you find it, you'll need to remove any parts blocking access. In some cars, you might need to remove the oil pan or a few other components to get to it. Now, use a wrench or socket to loosen the valve and remove it. Once out, take a look at the old one. If it's damaged or clogged, replacing it with a new one should fix the issue. Simply install the new valve, making sure it's seated properly, and torque it to spec. Don't forget to replace the oil filter and top up your oil, as you're already in there. Testing your oil pressure relief valve is like checking the pulse of your engine. First, you'll need to measure the oil pressure using a mechanical oil pressure gauge. Start the engine and let it warm up to operating temperature. The gauge should show a pressure range. Check your vehicle's manual for what's normal. If your oil pressure is too high, the valve might not be opening properly. To test it, you can remove the valve and check for visible damage. Sometimes, the spring inside gets weak or the valve gets clogged. A simple cleanup might do the trick, but if it's broken, it's time for a replacement. Another trick? Check the oil for any unusual contamination. A clogged oil relief valve could indicate oil flow problems. If in doubt, consult a mechanic or run a diagnostic test. Here's where it gets real. Symptoms of a bad oil pressure relief valve are not always obvious, but they're definitely something you can't ignore. Fluctuating oil pressure. If your oil pressure gauge is jumping around or staying too high, that could mean the valve is failing to regulate pressure properly. Low oil pressure. If you're seeing a low pressure warning on your dashboard, even with full oil, the valve might be stuck open or clogged. Engine noise. A bad valve can cause knocking noises as the engine struggles with irregular oil flow. Oil leaks. If your oil pressure is too high, it could cause seals and gaskets to fail, leading to leaks. Keep an eye out for these symptoms, because low or high oil pressure isn't just a warning light, it's a ticking time bomb. Low oil pressure can be a pain, but the oil pressure relief valve might be the culprit. Before panicking, check the oil level. If it's low, top it up with the correct oil grade. If that doesn't fix the issue, the valve could be stuck closed or blocked, preventing enough oil from circulating through the system. To fix this, you'll likely need to replace the valve. In some cases, cleaning it might solve the problem, but be sure to check for wear or damage. If you're getting low pressure and you've ruled out everything else, the relief valve could be your last line of defense. Want to keep your oil pressure relief valve running smoothly for years? Regular maintenance is key. Use the right oil. Always use the recommended oil for your engine. Wrong viscosity can cause stress on the valve and oil system. Regular oil changes. Change your oil regularly and replace the oil filter to avoid clogging the valve with contaminants. Check oil pressure, don't wait for a warning light. Keep an eye on your oil pressure, especially if you're noticing anything strange in engine performance. Inspect the valve, if you're doing an oil change or routine maintenance, take a moment to inspect the valve. If you notice any irregularities, 
it could be time for a replacement. That's it. Taking care of the oil pressure relief valve can go a long way in keeping your engine in tip-top shape, so don't overlook it. See description for link to the series on automotive valves.